man. People watching out there. You mean they may not know who Ghost from the IE is. Who? Ghost from IE. I don't know that ghost. I only know this ghost. The one on stream. Conga Ghost. One of our special uh, guests coming who is in town just because of the uh, Nintendo 3v3 Invitational. Yeah. Or World Championship. I'm actually super excited because the Microsoft press conference starts at 1. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm, I'm fingers crossed, man. I do some kind of Banjo Kazooie tease, some Master Chief tease. Some everybody thinks a Microsoft why, character. Why would why would they do it at the Microsoft event though? Because if I it's mean, already going to be request, they like, would they would tease it. I, to I don't even think they're going to tease for it for Tuesday. I feel like I feel like there's going to be teasers that aren't real. Yeah. That's what I feel like is going to happen at E3. There's just going to be like little. Like, they're going to say the word smash or something. I hope Master Chief has a smashing good time in Halo Infinite. Yeah, <laughs> like or something, something like that. that. <laughs> so something completely cornery. Everyone would be like, oh, my God, it's going to be Master Chief. And it's like, <laughs> actually, we put... Uh, Edric in the game. We put Edric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, man, this fight's see, over. <laughs> see, War Chief knows he has to finish the fight. Yeah, they're going to say something like that, like he needs to finish, or the fight never ends. And then it's gonna be like, they're going to be talking about Halo, but everyone's going to lose their stuff. And like, oh, my God, smash. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited for the new the, the Halo Legends or whatever it is. Halo, Halo, uh, Halo Infinite. Yeah, Halo Infinite. That's going to be fun. You know what's also fun? Thunder versus Ghost. Yes. Got some loot. We got Marth action on the screen. You know, this is the the legendary, uh, what is it? The legendary king himself. Yeah. You don't really get to see him in Smash too oh, often anymore. The, the Hero Prince. The That's Hero. A, yeah, the Hero the Prince. Legendary Hero, hero king. king. Yeah, Hero King. Hero, hero Prince in... Um, Shadow of the Sh Shadow Dragon and Hero King in the follow-up sequel, which we never got. Uh, Rip. <laughs> Rip. I know. Like, hey, let's make this amazing character, bring it over to the United States, and then never finish the story. Yes. Uh, Awakening sure is kind of like the finisher to it almost. Uh, but we never got the sequel <laughs> to Shadow Dragon, which <laughs> came out on the DS. Uh, unfortunately, we do, like you said, we don't really see too much Marth these days. Lucina seems to be more of a favorite, having a consistent hitbox. And oh my god, That's Ghost. right. Hit him with the shield breaker, the legendary hero king, Thundra. Yep. This man definitely started dancing with the stars the minute the shield was broken. Yeah, and I'm sure Ghost was seeing stars. Yeah. Didn't feel like a star after losing the team to Japan. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so far, I mean, teammate against teammate, I mean, they represented USA pretty well in the fight, and hopefully they can definitely show each other strengths and weaknesses out here. But Thunder using that side to get a little bit of aerial drift to come back. The first startup of it only is the one that gives it to him. Mm -hmm. And just look at the way that Thunder is fishing with his aerial oh, attacks. Oh, okay. my God. Even dropping down with the biggest of down airs. Ghost already sitting on last stock. Oh, okay. Nice. Tosses the turn up down. The reason why you want to do that is Marth has to make that low recovery. Like I said, Marth and Lucina struggle in the vertical recovery. So you have to make sure you call it out pretty pop probably. Yeah, he even timed it so that uh, he knew that Thunder was going to wait until the last moment to use the... The yeah, beat to try and just like clip the ledge. Mm -hmm. So there's like good timing coming out from Ghost as well. Okay, good. Good offstage pressure coming out from Thunder. Yeah. He's not allowing uh, Ghost to recover for free, making utilizing the up B, the offensive abilities of up B a, a lot more than we used to. Yeah. It's frame five in the ground, so it's pretty good. Frame five, frame one in the air. It's a really good uh, combo breaker if you are going to get it. It's a really good edge guard out of shield as well. Your opponent's gonna go for an aerial and you call it out, right? Thunder being careful with the landing because he knows Ghost has him also at that percent at the ledge. Able to use that up B and still recover. I like the turn up toss here and the commitment with the dash attack. He might have let go for a punish there. And you know, Thunder tried to let go with let go of this game by being unfortunately just whipped and now Ghost running the stock all the way back. Is that a stitch face yeah, in hand? Yeah, that is a stitch face in hand. Possibly Thunder's life in hands if you get a proper combo with it, but he has to toss it in to make sure he grabs the ledge. I mean, that was almost worth it. Like, yeah, you can take stocks, but I'm pretty sure that throwing that stitch just saved his. Yeah. Okay. So far, Thunder kind of giving him a little bit of respect. He doesn't want to go and overcommit himself. But fortunately, back in Smash 4, Marth had a kill throw about 180. Not really relevant in this game, but like I mentioned, up B is a really great combo breaker. That was like a melee up yeah. B. <laughs> that was. It, it, it sent him in the opposite direction. <laughs> um, so it'll send you in the opposite direction depending on where you are within the hitbox. Okay. Yeah. Like very melee? similar to melee, yeah. Like melee? <laughs> yeah, melee. Oh, I miss melee Marth. I, I'm, I, I Dude, know, can, I we, can we give melee or Marth his melee grab range again? Peach, Pikachu got melee grab. Why? Why did Pikachu get Marth? I didn't want to see like Marth's arm extend across the entire stage and grab someone. I'm happy we have Young Link as like 
one of the most underrepresented top tiers in the game. But like, I wish Marth was just melee. He's Marth the again. hero king. Yes, he should be good. He feels so incomplete. F the hero of time. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <He's so> good. <laughs> Link has been. Dude, I have been struggling with Link <laughs> since like '64. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had six months to be good. Let's get Marth back in the game. <laughs> yes. It feels like Mar Marth is an Echo Fighter of Lucina. That's oh, what it feels that's like. That's sad. That's what he feels like. It's, it's only facts, man. Sad days. And you're original character, but you become the Echo. <laughs> yep. Oh, we have a character switch coming out from Ghost. Reality is often disappointing, as Thanos once said. <laughs> <laughs> man. We have too many characters. We do. <laughs> 80 characters in the game, man. There's more characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Which had the previous title for one of the highest amount of characters in the game. Man. Well, let's see what Ghost um, Joker has in store for Thunder. I do like the fact that Thunder's kind of giving Ghost a little bit of respect. He knows, like, okay, one thing that Joker really excels at is whip punishing and an overcommitment from me. So I have to kind of do a little bit of the opposite because he is going to be coming in with Arsene, especially with it activated. It gets the up throw, the up air. Solid combos. So those usually about zero to sixty. It actually connects pretty consistently. Okay. Oh, going real deep with the forward air too, and of course, you know, with Arsene, you do have a recovery that doesn't have a hitbox. So yeah. You are susceptible to edge guards. I do like the fact that the minute he knew he was going to get spiked, he actually di towards the stage to get a wall tech oh. and then make the recovery. That's a really good strat that we do see in melee, where they know if they have that recovery, they just. DI towards the stage to get a wall tech. So that's a really good opportunity, especially here in Kalos. Yeah, very smart. I'm seeing a little bit of gun action come out from Ghost, too. Yeah. That's actually reminiscent to how uh, Sue plays. Yeah. Uh, Sue plays Joker. He very heavily a... relies on gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Big ass smash. Unfortunately, not going to uh, work. What was that tip? I'm so sorry. That tipper went nowhere. <laughs> that's how you know this character feels really incomplete. Uh, uh, unfortunately, a ghost of Thunder's character form herself. Okay, back air and S smash not gonna connect. I like it. Doesn't even commit to a jump. Just opts to go low. Usually, you would see a Joker main like to go for our guns and then aim low because they have to make that low recovery. Mm -hmm. Okay, well Arsene's out, and now we're gonna see the edge guards coming out from Ghost. Okay, opting to go for an F tilt because he knows the Thunder is getting on stage immediately. Oh, shoot him up on the way down. If I'm not mistaken, Dante's move in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was like bullet time. <laughs> so I feel like that's what Joker does. <laughs> wow, he just shot him up all the way down. Yeah. He didn't give Thunder any opportunity to recover. That's the Compton shootout. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't know a thing or two about that. Anyways. Oh, yo, that was straight jackpot right there. <laughs> that, that was. That was that jackpot. Was jackpot. <laughs> Is that what it's called in Marvel's Capcom 3? The, the hyper? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the hyper's called jackpot. Yeah. Yahoo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's not going to be jackpot, even with Tipper. Thunder is still looking for this great edge guard. I do like oh, the fact that he's on kind of relentless to Ghost. He knows Ghost has to make the approach. So that's one thing that Joker kind of struggles is sometimes he's really good at whip punishing, but when he's getting whip punished, he'll definitely take a thing or two from it. And with the way that Ghost has been recovering when he doesn't have Arsene, he's been dropping very low, like almost to the point where he's touching the blast zone. And then yeah. that's when he'll like use his double jump, expends the wall jump, and then allows him to just tether right back to the stage. You know, it doesn't give Thunder an opportunity to, to punish or even pressure. Yeah. Forward air, that's going to be Tipper. And even with Arsene activated, it does go away. One little fun fact for all you back at home watching. If you do pummel Joker while he has Arsene out, it does also take down the meter as well. That's right, because it has a set amount like per hit, right? Mm -hmm. that, that takes away meter? Exactly. So feel free to try to see if Joker's going to come to your range, get a grab, and then pummel a little bit. Okay, dropping down with the down air. Ooh, oh, good dash dance. Oh, man, he almost had the tournament winner there with that down air. Okay, good footsies and both players, you know, playing a good neutral. Ooh. Oh, he tried to hit him with the jackpot again. Yep. Good forward tilt. Usually a lot of jokers like to go for forward tilt the ledge. Pretty fast. It's decent cooldown. Of course, Aegon will definitely put out more up in the air, and he fights for his way back with the forward air. Okay, expand the double jump using guns to get back to... Get back to the stage. Oh, he almost caught the roll, but he's only going to call out the roll in afterwards with the down air. I like looking the spacing here to get the whip punish, especially with the fact that uh, Ghost has been going for jackpot a lot. Okay, tethering right back to the stage, but oh, the 
Liz Trump is going to force Ghost off the ledge. Back throw. Yeah, get him out of here. Mm -hmm. And now Arsene's almost back on line. <laughs> if he's able to survive, like, just one hit, he will have it back. Yeah. Okay, just doing about, a good amount of damage, though. The funny thing about, like, a Joker's back throw is that it feels like you tripped over me and then you fell and you died. That's what it, <laughs> look, that's what it looks like. like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Going for jackpot. It's really good because if your opponent is going to go for an aerial against you, the closer you get to him, the more knockback you take from each bullet. Nice, looking for a whip punish here. He knows Thunder is a little bit scared right now. It's a last mm. stock, 148. Thunder feels the, a little bit of the heat here, the pressure. Go to forward, if it would have been Tipper, definitely would have took care of him. And the untackable from the uh, B. Frame one in the air, it's so hard to react to in general, even yeah, that, if it was tackable. That was interesting that he, that Ghost opted to